Hey guys, it's Courtney from the Carolina Farmhouse. This week I am starting the packing process because, let's see, yesterday marked three weeks until we moved to our new house. For those of you who are new here, we have lived in our current house, in our current little farmhouse on half an acre for two years and we have loved living here. We didn't really have any intention of moving and until probably next year we knew this wasn't our forever home but we were thinking we would be here another year like my garden is planted we were set to stay here for this year and then the perfect place came up and god kind of was in the details and worked it all out so we're moving and i'm excited to share where that is soon only three weeks you guys i just want to wait and make sure everything is official before i share Plus, it's not our house yet, so I feel kind of weird sharing a house that doesn't belong to us yet. I'm not trying to be vague on purpose. I've said that before, um, and I'm not trying to, like, lag this out as long as possible. I wish that I could share it right now, but I just can't. That's why we are moving, and it's sudden. It's kind of crazy. I'm still wrapping my mind around it, but my goal is since I've had this time um, to pack and go through things, I really want to only take what we need to the new house. So my goal has been to sort through all of our junk, all of the things that have just been sitting in closets for years that we've never used and get rid of it so that one, it's easier to move because we don't have all this extra stuff. And two, the new house does not have a lot of storage in the house. There's not a lot of closets or anything because it is an old house and um, it has no outside, but well, it does have one outside building, but it's like rotting. So we don't really wanna put our stuff in there, but we're gonna get a barn eventually, but right now we do not have that. And so we've gone through our two sheds in our yard. Chris has put that stuff in storage. So I'm just trying to be as smart as possible about this move to give us a fresh start with not a lot of junk and clutter, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be working in our room and um, going through our closet. Our closet needs a ton of work. I'm hoping that will help cut down on the number of boxes from our room and make the moving process easier. Okay, so first up is the closet. I'm kind of scared to look in here. Let me turn on the light. This is the closet. We have stuck a lot of stuff in here and I need to sort through it before we move. Okay, well, it has to get worse before it gets better, right? I feel like I've made the closet shelves look better, but my room worse. <laughs> but we're making some progress. Got a little bit of the stuff here. I still have to sort through all of this junk, so I think that's what I'm going to do now. But Hollis is waking up, so I need to go get her up. They're swimming in their underwear because I haven't bought them swimsuits that fit them. Mother of the year over here. sitting in my dirty kitchen so I have some news about the house it's been kind of a whirlwind of a few days <laughs> so the house has not been too wiring and the sellers had offered to replace the knob and tube that was visible but not what's like in the hard to reach places in the walls because there's plaster walls and they would have to tear into things and replace the breaker box 
and the more we looked into it and talked to other electrician friends the more it was like we didn't feel good about not rewiring the whole house which means we're going to have to cut holes in the walls take down ceilings downstairs it's going to be a lot of money it's going to be expensive but um we feel we feel good about it it's just been overwhelming and kind of scary and wondering if we made the right decision all the emotions i cried like four times yesterday mm, not gonna lie but i'm feeling a little bit better now the problem is we close on june 13th anyway i have no idea where that left off because i was interrupted and then chris called me um but we are not going to be able to start on the electrical until after we close since we're going to be cutting into walls and things like that um which means we're not going to have anywhere to live which is very interesting but i think we've decided that we are going to try to find a camper to stay in at the new place while the electrical is being done so that we're there we can take care of our animals i can water my garden plants they're in buckets <laughs> and we can be close to the work that's going on so now we just have to find a camper and hope that we have the correct hookup and things like that because there is a spot where i think they had a boat plugged in or something maybe an rv so if we do the camper thing um that means we can still move all of our stuff into the new house as planned just keep out the stuff that we need to survive on in the camper um but it really won't mess up our plans that much it's not like if we rented somewhere we would have to move into that house and then move again to the new house when the wiring's done so this way it's kind of like we can still move in but just not live there because there will be no electricity so i think that's going to be the best plan um but it's going to be a crazy few months to say the least look how pretty this guy is flowers. What do you think? What do you think? The kids are at my in-laws house for the night so that we can get some packing done. Chris is currently unloading some boxes that his boss gave us Thanks, to, boss. <laughs> to help with moving. So we are going to take up a load to take to donations and then a load to the storage unit that we have. So we're hoping to get a lot accomplished before it gets too dark while the kids are at their grandparents' house. We have all these boxes to take inside and then some donation stuff. Mm -hmm. All of my awesome DVDs that we never use anymore. What do you do with DVDs? Harry Potter, The Demon Show. 24. <laughs> Man, there's just so much good stuff. We stream it all. Yeah, it's true. So it's just taking up space. So we're donating those. So one of my goals, like I've mentioned, is to declutter a ton before we actually move so that we're not moving a bunch of extra stuff. And I think we're doing a good job of that. We have about six boxes of stuff to take to donation um and we haven't even fully packed a single room yet i think the dining room we have um but every box that leaves here for donation and giveaway is one box of junk we won't have in our house all right so what do we have here that's a old beat up sink that we're probably gonna throw in the trash just kidding that this was is... my 30th birthday gift to myself to yourself it is a washboard sink it has like the the faucet too show what it looks like would look like on the thing so it's things. got like the little soap dish holder sits in there we got the pipe that comes with it <laughs> so funny story about the sink so for my 30th birthday we were going on a date night and i told chris i was like don't be mad at me you can't be mad at me because it's my birthday and I told him that I had bought a like sink off of Facebook Marketplace. So we go to pick it up before we eat dinner. And we were both hungry. And we both get very hangry when we're hungry. So we go to pick up this sink thinking it was like sitting like that. It was hooked up in like 
there's no way to describe it but like a crack house. Yeah. Like the floors were like hidden like hidden. They were like falling apart. Yeah. This guy's like crawling under the house trying to disconnect the water. Like it was still running blaring music with water. Yeah, blaring music. Was, was just... We thought we were gonna be murdered and Chris probably spent an hour <laughs> getting this sink out of that house. And so in that moment he had no regrets in marrying me. It's the old the house. Worst birthday surprise I've ever had in my life. But it made me happy. <laughs> Why am I going So I went through the whole bookshelf and donated. That's where the movies are. But I donated a ton of books. I also kept a lot because we love books. So we have a couple of boxes of books to give away. Hey, Betsy. Yeah. <laughs> we got her loaded down. Good thing we don't have far to go. Making some packing progress. Lots of boxes to hide. <laughs> oh. I just finished tying up some of the cucumber branches. They were going everywhere, so I just zip tied them up higher. Chris is over there taking down lumber from around the muscadines. It's very sad, I'm not going to lie, to know that we're moving in two weeks and this will no longer be my garden. And even though I'm excited for what's to come, like, it's okay to fill both. <laughs> I've had to fill that a lot in the last couple weeks of holding kind of both of them in my hand of grief and excitement. And this garden has been such a learning ground for me. <laughs> this was my first like huge garden that I grew um, the first time I grew a garden it was well not the first time the first time I succeeded at growing a garden was here and I had three little raised beds and I didn't put a lot of money into it because I knew that I had a black thumb and couldn't grow anything and then I realized that that's not true and anyone can learn to garden um, I just watched YouTube videos on what plants I wanted to grow and then it grew and grew until this is what my garden looks like. There's literally green everywhere. And I grew that. The girl with the black thumb. So if you feel like that's you, you can grow a garden too. But I say all that to say, like, I'm sad. I'm sad to leave my garden. And I'm sad that I'm leaving behind plants that I grew from seed. And that I'm not going to get the harvest that I was hoping for. Because my goal for my garden this year was to grow as much food as I could on this half acre and so I planted accordingly and now I'm having to leave a lot of it. I don't know, I hope that my plants and my buckets do well, that I can still have a good growing season, but I don't know, we'll see. God knows the timing of this. Um, he knows what happened during my favorite time of year, which is gardening season, um, but I'm excited to plan a future garden at the new place. So today we went to church and we had lunch out and then we've been in the pool all day. We decided to kind of take it easy today since tomorrow's Memorial Day and we'll have an extra day to pack and stuff. So the kids are watching a show right now. They're exhausted from swimming, which tired kids from swimming is a good thing. And I'm just working on some dinner right now. I'm cooking some, that's skirt steak that I cooked in my cast iron skillet and I used some coconut and liquid aminos. And I've got some quinoa going over here, and I'm going to add some broccoli and just stir fry it all together. Hopefully it's good. I'm not following a recipe, per usual. 
All right, so we got an update on the electrical. It's really good news. Uh, so essentially, um, the upstairs is completely uh, rewired at some point. Uh, it's not grounded, so it hasn't been recent, but it's far more recent than knob and tube wiring. Um, so that's good. Uh, the downstairs, however, still has uh, cloth coated wiring. At the worst, it's knob and tube that's been tampered with and potentially dangerous. At the best, it's just really old wiring that's fairly safe. Regardless, we're going to rewire it. So instead of having to rewire and basically gut the entire house, now it looks like it'll just be the downstairs, right? Right, exactly. Right, okay. So we're working with an electrician and we got to figure out exactly how we're going to do it. Uh, what it'll probably entail is me taking down some trenches out of our ceilings uh, in the new place. Uh, so that they can reach and rewire all of the ceiling fans and lights. Uh, a lot of it can be done from under the house, which is going to cut down on the cost tremendously. That's pretty awesome. Um, you are biting the tar out of me. Uh, <laughs> but regardless, uh, really good. So what we're going to do is we're going to live in a camper, uh, Lord willing, for a couple weeks. Wait for the electrical to get done. You know, just like everything else right now, it's backed up. So it's going to take a little bit of an extended time uh, to get done. Um, but that's okay. We're going to enjoy a couple months while it's re being rewired. And it's going to be an adventure, isn't it? Definitely. Four adventure. kids in a camper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while living in a camper with four children for a couple months is not how we pictured things going. Um, hopefully I'll be able to share soon. But we think we have a really cool situation working out with the camper. Um, and hopefully my next video I'll be able to update about that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know any of your moving tips and helpful tricks in the comments. We've moved a lot, but I'm definitely not a professional. And I'm more of a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants type gal. So if you found any tried-and-true moving tips, I would love to hear those in the comments. And if you're new here, I hope you hit the subscribe button and get updates as our family is moving soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this peek inside the screen door of a Southern Homemaker.